Hi, this is Ahmed from Civil Note Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna cover how can we configure the SQL on BFSense to be as a SQL client for outbound cache peer proxy, right? So all of us know that the BFSense can be uh, integrated with SQL and BFSense and SQL on the same device and can be running and work perfectly. But in this video, I'm gonna cover if we want to forward all the traffic or the proxy traffic from pfSense to another SQL server over the internet, right? So in this scenario, we can imagine that your SQL proxy is a client to an outbound proxy server that is on the internet. So my current topology is I have a pfSense on my VMware. Uh, I have Windows 10. Right here, this is the uh, Windows 10 that is connected to the LAN of the uh, PFSense and it has the IP address 10.0.0 something. And the internet, which is the LAN of PFSense, is bridged to my wireless. And I would like to test in this video before and after uh, the, the SQL configuration how, how the IP address is going to be, right? So I have the proxy that is over the internet. This is the IP, this is the port. And this is the username, the username, the password, right? So now I have the pfSense already installed with the SQL packages, as you see here, right? We have services, SQL proxy, and it is running and working fine. And my computer right now is configured to have the proxy from pfSense, right? So if I go to connections, LAN setting, this is my pfSense SQL proxy, right? And now I want to set up pfSense SQL proxy to be client to that proxy server, right? So uh, I go to my pfSense and it's gonna be in remote cache section, right? I'm gonna hit add. By the way, my remote SQL server is here in this terminal. I'm gonna monitor in case any traffic is hitting my server right now. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna enable. This is the IP. And I can I can say any name. The name is mandatory. You can type any name you want. And this is the port, right? And I'm gonna keep all the default on the top. And this is the username. And this is the password, right? Username and password. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna restart the SQL service, right? So here is my SQL, my outbound, my remote cache. This is the remote cache. And now I'm gonna say some, I'm gonna hit some traffic. As you see, I have refreshed my website. And I say what is my IP address.com now. Great, as you see, this is the IP address of the remote cache SQL, right? This is the primary proxy. I'm sorry. This is my primary proxy that is over the internet. So what I have done right now, the pfSense, sorry, the Windows 10 will send the traffic to pfSense SQL proxy. Then SQL proxy of pfSense will forward the traffic to the outbound proxy that is public on the internet, right? And that proxy server over the internet would go to the website that you requested. Then it come back to you as well. 
So this is an outshell, the basic configuration of remote cache of SQL proxy. I hope this video has been informative for you. And in the end, I would like to thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel, like the video. Thank you so much.